Welcome to our Wilderness Vans installation tutorial. Today we will show you how to assemble a Lippert Smart Bed. This mechanical bed is a great option for those builds that need some flexibility in their layout. The universal nature of this bed means that it can fit into any build by modifying the frame. In this video, we will cover how to assemble the bed. Installing the bed into a van will be covered in a separate video. As well, we highly suggest that you are comfortable using power tools, saws, and are competent in working with 12 volt electrical systems before tackling this assembly. With all that out of the way, let's get started. To start our build, we are going to assemble the bed frame. For these next few steps, you'll need the following items. The two length bedside rails, the two width bedside rails, a crossbeam, and the four corner pieces included in your kit. Start by taking one of the side rails, either a length piece or a width piece, and a corner bracket. Slide the corner bracket into the end of the side rail. Then use a rubber mallet to finish pushing it into place. Now grab another side rail and attach it to the other end of the corner piece. When you grab the second piece, make sure that a width rail connects to a length rail, and vice versa. Once two pieces are joined together, secure them to the corner piece using four Phillips head screws. Drill these into the locations shown in the following footage in order to fully secure the rails to the corner bracket inside. Now repeat these steps to assemble the rest of the bed frame. Please note that the side rails and crossbeam can all be cut and modified before assembly to change the size and shape of your bed. If you wish to change the shape of your bed to something other than a rectangle, special corner brackets are included in your kit. With your bed frame assembled, let's attach the cross brace. When attaching the cross brace, first make sure that the top of your bed is facing upwards. You can tell what part of your bed is the top by comparing the edges of your bed to the following image. Now let's get back to the cross brace. You can position your cross brace widthwise or lengthwise, depending on your preference. To attach the cross brace, first we have to attach the two end brackets seen here to the ends of the cross brace. Take one of your end brackets and attach it to the end of the cross brace using three torque screws and a T25 bit. Repeat this process on the other end of the cross brace. With the end brackets installed, place the cross brace onto the bed frame. Measure the bed to make sure the brace is placed into the center of the frame. Then secure it in place using four Phillips head screws. The bed frame is now fully assembled. With the frame assembled, let's get started on the motor shaft assembly. Beginning with attaching the two alternate end brackets seen here to the ends of the motor shaft. These end brackets go on either side of your bed and allow the shaft to be installed inside of the bed frame versus sitting on top of it. To install these new brackets, Use a 4mm Allen key to remove the hardware holding the current bracket in place. Now take the bushing from the old bracket and place it onto the new bracket as seen here. Then take the Allen screw you removed and reinstall it through the bushing and onto the motor shaft.
The bracket is now in place. Repeat these steps for the other bracket. Please note that our motor shaft was cut prior to filming. Do not cut your shaft until after this step. With end brackets installed, let's get the motor shaft cut to the right size. Before we start working on the motor shaft, make sure the bottom of the bed is facing upwards for the next few steps. Now let's get back to cutting the shaft. To start, decide if you want the motor shaft installed along the length of the bed or along the width of the bed. In this video, we are placing it along the width of the bed. This will mean our lift mechanisms and straps will be located at the back and front of the van. Now we need two measurements before we can make our cut. First, measure the distance between the two edges on your bed that the shaft will attach to. Make sure to measure to the inside edge of the lip on each rail as seen in this footage. Now compare this measurement to your shaft to see how much longer your shaft is than the bed. Write down how much overhang your shaft has. Now before we cut the shaft, we need to get one more measurement to account for the motor. Measure between the two points on your motor shown here. As you do this, add an additional 10 millimeters on each side of your measurement. We are adding this extra distance so that it's easier to service the motor in the future. Mark this measurement down. Now you can cut the shaft. Add your measurements from when you determine the distance that needs to be cut off the end of the shaft to the length of the motor. Then cut that much off the end of your shaft. Once cut, make sure to reinstall the end bracket from the cut section back onto the motor shaft. Finally, we need to make one more cut. Select where on your shaft you want the motor to sit. We opted to have ours be closer to the end of the shaft, but the choice is completely up to you and depends on how it best fits into your van for access. Once the position is chosen, cut your shaft so that it is bisected at the location of your choice. Now we need to replace a bracket on our motor. This hardware change will allow us to keep everything nice and tucked away when installing our motor onto the bed. Find your motor, and then grab the alternate motor mounting bracket seen here. This bracket will allow us to attach the motor limiter, seen here, directly to our motor. Using a 13mm wrench, remove the bolts holding the current motor bracket in place. As you remove this hardware, set aside the bottom piece of the bracket seen here. This piece will need to be reinstalled along with the new bracket. Now take the new alternate bracket and begin loosely securing it in place using the top bolt removed from the motor. Then reposition the bottom piece of the old bracket we just removed and install it over top of the motor mounting bracket using the two remaining bolts. Tighten this hardware with a 13mm wrench. With the new hardware installed, let's attach the motor onto the shaft. To start, grab your motor limiter and one of the ends of your motor shaft. Slide the limiter onto the motor shaft. To slide it on, you'll need to match the lock key on the limiter to the corresponding key slot on the shaft. With the limiter in place, take your motor and attach the side of the motor with the motor bracket onto the motor shaft as well. Like with the limiter, make sure the key on the motor slides into the slot on the shaft. Once in place, take the other half of the shaft and slide it onto the other end of the motor. The shaft is assembled. Now let's get it attached to the bed frame. Before we continue, make sure the bottom of the bed is facing upwards. With the shaft cut and assembled, we can attach it to the actual bed. Before we do that though, we'll need to position mounting points onto the bed frame for the shaft to attach to. Grab the three mounting clips seen here from your kit. These clips will be positioned on three sides of your bed frame for the motor shaft to attach to. 
Slide these mounting clips into the recesses of the bed frame as seen here. The shorter of these three clips will be positioned on the side of your bed where the motor will attach to, while the longer clips will attach to the ends of the shaft. Once in place, we can start attaching the motor shaft. Take your motor shaft and position one of the end brackets onto a mounting clip. You may need to use a pick in order to reach behind your mounting clip and hold it in position. Secure the shaft to the clip using two sets of washers, lock washers, and hex nuts. Only hand tighten these fasteners at this time. Repeat this process for the other side of the shaft. With both ends of the shaft loosely in place, move over to the motor and attach it to the remaining mounting clip using the same method. Tighten the hardware holding the motor in place using an 8mm wrench. Before we tighten the other mounting points, we need to double check that our motor shaft is straight. Use a measuring tape and measure the distance from the mounting clip holding the motor in place to the center of the motor shaft. Use this measurement to make sure that the two clips holding each end of the motor shaft are in the same position as the center of the motor shaft. When everything is lined up, tighten the hardware on the mounting clips using an 8mm wrench. Finally, use two Phillips head screws to secure the motor limiter to the bracket we installed earlier. The motor is now installed. With the motor shaft attached to the bed, we can move on and install the belt brackets. These brackets guide the straps that lift and lower the bed. There are two types of brackets. One is the basic version seen here, which simply guides the straps, and the other is the stabilizer guide bracket. This bracket is placed inside the guide rails that will be installed onto the walls of your van. Let's start by installing the stabilizer guide brackets. The stabilizer guide brackets are usually placed on the side of the bed closest to the motor, but ultimately this is up to you and can be changed. Before we install these guides, choose where you want your straps to sit on your bed. In our case, we positioned our straps as close to the sides of the bed as possible, so that they are less intrusive while inside the van. With your straps in position, measure from the edge of your bed to the center of the outside strap. Then use that measurement to position your stabilizer bracket onto the edge of the bed closest to the motor. Install the guide bracket onto that position using a long Phillips head screw in the top and a short Phillips head screw on the back. Repeat this process on the other end of the bed for the other outside strap. Now we will install the two remaining belt brackets. Grab your measuring tape and measure the distance from the edge of the bed to the center of the inner strap. Now go to the opposite end of the bed and translate that measurement onto the bed frame. Install the belt bracket in that position using two Phillips head screws. Repeat this process for the remaining strap and bracket. With everything on the frame complete, let's move on to the final assembly step. We are going to put together the base of our bed using the wooden slats supplied in the kit. Flip the bed so that the top of the bed is once again facing upwards. Then grab all of the slats and rubber slat brackets included in your kit. These brackets and slats will make up the base of your bed. To install this hardware, 
Take three slats and two rubber brackets. Slide the slats into the brackets as seen here. Once a set of slats and brackets is assembled, slide it into the bed frame and cross beam. An example of how the brackets fit into the slots on the bed can be seen in this example. Continue this process until the bed base is fully built. Once you finish a section of bed, remove any extra bracket sections using a knife. As you build your bed, please take note of the following. To make a full-size Lippert Smart Bed, 13 slats will be used on each side of the bed. Since this bed is modular, you can use less for your bed depending on its size. As well, if your bed has been modified to be shorter or your crossbeam isn't perfectly center, then you'll need to cut the slats down to match the size of your bed. Congratulations, you just finished assembling your Lippert Smart Bed. In our next installation video, we will cover how to get this bed installed into your van. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe. Check out the rest of our channel and website for additional tips, tricks, and installation guides. Thanks for choosing Wilderness Vans.